This is a case of uh, adnexal torsion on uh, huge dermoid cyst in uh, a young uh, patient. You can see the first part of the procedure is to try to reduce the torsion and the movement must be as smooth as possible. The torsion now is completely reduced. We will open the cyst and we will remove the liquid inside the cyst to decrease the cyst volume. And in the second step, we will do a classical cystectomy in this young patient. The assistant used a 5 mm soccer. And there was a 300 cc of uh, liquid. The second step of the procedure is to do a classical cystectomy for this dermoid cyst. And we will begin this cystectomy after emptying completely the liquid. The procedure is done by a movement of traction and contra-traction that allows us to remove the cyst outside the healthy ovary. Even there is a small bleeder, we recommend to avoid to use any energy source for the complete respect of the ovarian reserve, which is, in my opinion, very important in this young patient. Traction identifying the root dissecting plane, contra-traction, and we can, as you see, remove this cyst quickly and safely. It's important to try to see the root dissecting plane every time As you see, the dissection is quite simple. Even the cyst is a little bit open, it doesn't matter. Which is matter that to spare as much as possible the ovarian parenchyma, the healthy one. Now we will put the cyst inside an in endobank, close the endobank and we extract the cyst from the left iliac operative trunk. Now we have to use in this case of the cyst to do uh, stitches for the hemostasis and the stitch that must be used in these cases is the monofilament two pole and we have just to reconstruct the normal anatomy and not to tie too much the knot, to don't add ischemia than the previous ischemia resulting from the torsion. Just anatomical reconstruction and we just put the knot and not tie the knot. You can see the recoloration of the next time.
and as you see we will just lock the nut with no tie. It's important to do these uh, stitches because this maneuver allows you not to use any energy source that can decrease the ovarian reason. You can see we just uh, lock the knot without tying and it's time to clean the pelvis to remove the cyst. See, we clean the pelvis, we remove the small clot which are located in the latch part. You can see the tube completely normal now with a good coronation. That means that there is a good vascularization. Thank you for your attention.